Streamlining customer interactions by leveraging your Blue Folder customer portal. The customer portal allows customers to view their work orders, contracts, equipment, and any files that you might want to share with them. Depending on your business model, you may have one large customer who needs additional visibility into the work you're doing for them, or maybe you give access to all your customers as an added value to the service you provide. Let's take a look at the settings that help you manage your customer portal, and we'll take a quick walk through what your customer might experience when using your portal. After logging into your Blue Folder account, simply go to Settings and drop down to Customer Portal. The Customer Portal has four main sections, the General Settings, the Page Header, Managing Users, and Website Integration. Under General Settings Status, you simply display if the feature is enabled or not, the portal URL where your customers will access the portal login, and the number of users you have active. Under the Tab Settings, you need to specify what your customers will see when they log into the portal, on the main page, as well as on the work orders. Keep in mind, contracts and equipment are features that are only available in some Blue Folder plans. Let's take a quick look at the portal to see where those tabs are. Here's the portal login for this account. After the customer logs in, they've landed in the main page. We're talking about the tabs, equipment, and contracts. Referring to the two main tabs here that give your customer access to equipment and the contracts. If that feature is enabled within your Blue Folder account, you need to determine do you want to expose these or not. Let's go back to the settings. The next setting under tabs are the tabs for the work orders themselves. Do we want to show billing on the work orders, which will expose price? Do we want to show the log tab, which is going to show all public comments and activities done to that work order? And last, we want to show the Items tab, which is going to be all labor, materials, and expenses. Let's visit the portal again and see where these come into play. I've logged into the portal again for this account. Let's simply drill into one of the work orders. Now on the settings, we need to choose do we expose items, the billing tab, and the log. The Items tab is going to show all labor, materials, and expenses added to this work order. Keep in mind, at this view, your customer doesn't see price. Now on the Billing tab, price is exposed. And last is the Log. Here your customer can see pretty much all the activities for this work order, as well as any public comments. The Log tab also gives your customer the ability to simply add a comment to any of the log entries. Let's jump back into the settings. The next area of the settings are the customized field for the work orders. These are fields specific to the work order. And here you need to decide what fields are accessible and viewable by your customer. Let's take a look at maybe how that looks within the portal. In our settings, we specified that the customer has access to the assignment, the detailed description, as well as the priority. Again, these fields can be turned on or off depending on your preference. In addition, any custom fields created for work orders within Blue Folder can be exposed here. Time to go look at the settings again. The next section deals with the work order list. In the work order list is a list the customer first sees when they log into their portal. Here, you need to decide which of these columns you want your customer to have access to. Let's go look at that page in the portal. So I've logged in again and I've landed on a work order list. The columns within the settings that are customizable are basically these column headers. Number, description, location, status, priority, and assignment. Additional fields can be added or you can remove some of these fields. Number and description are two fields that cannot be removed from the portal view. Back in the settings, we've got our last general setting. This is the log out redirect. What this does is tell your customer, when they log out of the portal, what URL do you want to send them to? In this case, it simply sends them back to Blue Folder. The next page of our settings, the page header. The layout dictates what your customers will see on the customer portal login. In this case, we've decided to show the logo on the left and the header text, which is found below, on the right. Take a quick look at that and see how it might look. So 
So I've navigated to this customer's portal URL. And here we can see the logos on the left and the header text is on the right. So back in the settings, the layout allows you to select where the logo is, where the text is, if any, or do you want to simply display your company name? Blue Folder will try to optimize your logo for the customer portal login page. However, you can force it to be actual size if you're going for a certain design or look. Next, let's take a look at manage users. Here's where we specify which users have access to the customer portal. To create a new user, simply click on New Portal User. Select the customer you want to grant access to. Select the contact. Plug in the email, the username, and then give the customer a password. Next, you want to define the permissions for this specific user. Can this user view all work orders for their business or just work orders where they're the contact person? Decide if this customer is active or inactive. Click Create Login and decide if you want to send the contact the login credentials for their portal account. The last setting is Website Integration. Website integration allows you to paste code within a certain page of, let's say, your website to expose the portal login page to your customers within your website. This hides the blue folder customer portal login URL and keeps it more at home within your website. All right, let's jump into the portal and see what it looks like to process a quick work order. Okay, I'm on the portal login page for this account. I've entered my credentials. I simply click login. If the permission is set to only allow me to see my work orders where I'm the main contact, I'll be locked down to just viewing my work orders. I can still filter by status, but I'm only going to see my work orders where, again, I'm the contact. If I have permission to see the entire company's work orders, then I'll land on all work orders. Again, this user can filter by status as well. If a client wants to get more information on a work order, they simply click on the work order and they've landed on the overview tab. Here, they can get a lot of information of what's going on with this work order, such as the equipment that needs to be serviced, the recent log entries if they have permissions to see it, any items if you've allowed items to be exposed, and the billing information. The additional tabs, such as items, again, are customizable. The items tab is going to show us all labor materials and expenses added to this work order. Billing, it's going to show our items but expose price. The attachment tab is going to show us any documents, photos, before and after uploaded to this work order, any signed documents that Maybe your tech got in the field when they were on site. Last is the log. The log gives the customer, again if exposed, access to see what's happened, any public comments for this job. Now uniquely, the customer can go in on the log and actually comment on the log entries. This comment will be added to the log as a public comment. Also notify all related people to this work order. Let's go ahead and create a new work order. Specify the contact, service location, add a description, enter a detailed description, select the priority. Last, the customer can choose the equipment that's affected, and simply click Save. And the work order is created. Now you'll want to take a look in the settings of Blue Folder under Email and Global Notifications. You can set any time a new request is opened through the customer portal to notify one or multiple individuals by email. If exposed, the Equipment tab will give the customer access to all of the equipment that you've listed under their customer profile. You can also drill into this equipment, see important information, and the service history for this equipment item. Next, if enabled, the Contracts tab will show our customers the contracts that they have active, as well as allow them to sort by status any canceled or expired contracts. By drilling down into the contract, the customer can see contract terms, the cost, as well as the description. Under the attachments, they'll have access to any files or links that you've uploaded to this contract, as well as the contract usage. Get a better idea of what's being applied to this contract and how is it being used. 
The final tab is the shared files. Shared files will be any documents uploaded, files uploaded, and links that you've added to this customer's profile under attachments. Finally, don't forget on logout, where do you want to send your customer? This is typically your home page of your website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us by phone or email.